could be the next Earth. Planet Earth, home to vast oceans, mountains, and land masses, inhabited by all life forms that we know of today. Thanks to its perfectly calculated distance from the sun, the chemical ingredients for life present on it, such as water and carbon, and the dense layers of atmosphere that it has, are the reasons why it became possible for life to exist and survive for billions of years on planet Earth. But the life we currently have on Earth may not be the only type of life mankind will ever live to see. For decades now, NASA has been studying other celestial bodies to try to search for potential Earth-like places in our solar system. Places that could possibly sustain life. And in 2016, a key finding about a certain celestial object brought scientists and experts alike the possibility of a literal out-of-this-world life for us in the future. Spoiler alert, we're not talking about Mars. But before we give you all the details about it, make sure to press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss epic videos like this one ever again. All right, let's take you on a journey to outer space. There are some crucial factors that would determine if a certain celestial body would be able to sustain life in different forms. All of these factors, however, go back to a common criterion. Will this new potential home resemble the basic but vital reasons that make Earth habitable? We're talking about the second largest moon in our solar system, Titan. Titan is one of the 82 moons of Saturn. Our solar system is home to more than 150 moons, and Titan is one of the four moons in it that have an atmosphere. Good start, right? On the 14th of January, 2005, the European Space Agency's robotic lander, named Huygens, entered the Titan's orange smoggy atmosphere and landed on its surface. This exploration later revealed the complex details of the layers of its atmosphere, chemical composition, and processes. In the same year, scientists at the Southwestern Research Institute in Texas and Washington State University said that a variety of organic chemicals, such as carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and other elements are found on Titan. These substances are crucial elements of life on Earth. Unfortunately, despite these similarities, the experts also concluded that Titan's current conditions are far harsher than our home planet. For starters, let us first look at the Titan's temperature. Titan is 886 million miles away from the Sun. With that, Titan's surface temperature is about negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. That's way too cold to live on, regardless of all the other cool factors lining up, okay? A satellite is a moon, planet, or machine that orbits a planet or star. Titan is Saturn's largest natural satellite and the second largest satellite moon in the entire solar system. Much like Earth, it has a similar weather cycle, but instead of having rain like ours, you might want to expect frozen liquid methane and ethane to fall on your umbrella. So we hope you invested in a heavy-duty super umbrella. Titan's atmospheric composition is remarkably thick, about four times the density of Earth's aerosphere, and has a more substantial atmospheric pressure of about 60%. Mars does not even come close to providing the same protection Titan's atmosphere gives. That's why some experts from NASA suggest to colonize Titan first before moving on to Mars. On its surface, Titan was said to have liquids, the only place in the solar system to have this other than Earth. The presence of bodies of liquid on Titan could indicate the possibility of starting a forthcoming self-sustaining human settlement. But how possible could it be for Titan to have, at this very moment, a form of life existing there? Who knows? Well, it just gets more interesting from here. Data from the Cassini-Huygens mission also revealed the five primary layers of Titan's surface. The core of water-bearing silicate rock, surrounded by ice four, which is a special water ice, then a salty liquid layer, an outer crust of water ice, and finally, coated at the top with organic molecules in forms of sands and liquids. The Cassini spacecraft also disclosed that Titan has environments with conditions potentially suitable for life as we know it, or probable alien life forms we are yet to discover, 
prospering in the hydrocarbon liquid-filled surface. However, despite these prominent findings, it was not until 2016's breakthrough discovery of cyclopropylenidine, or C3H2, in Titan's atmosphere that finally encouraged NASA to launch a mission focusing on studying Titan. C3H2 in Titan's atmosphere is a strange organic molecule only found in deep space. Discovered through extremely high precision images produced by advanced technological techniques, this simple carbon-based molecule could, theoretically, feed possible life on Titan. Very exciting stuff here, guys. Another thing about C3H2 is that aside from benzene, it is the only closed-loop molecule found on Titan, as far as we know. This type of closed-loop molecule is significant as they form the backbone ring for DNA and RNA's nuclear base critical for life's functions. And believe it or not, this could be an indicator of life on Titan. Maybe alien life. Do you believe in aliens? Now that we're on the topic, we do have a new video out on aliens living among us. You may want to check that video out after this video. Anyways, fascinated by all of this, NASA announced the billion-dollar Dragonfly mission. This mission will take nine years before it finally arrives in Titan in 2036. It's called the Dragonfly mission for its Dragonfly-inspired multi-rotor spacecraft design. The Dragonfly spacecraft will take advantage of the planet's low gravity and use its ability to fly around with its radioisotrope thermoelectric generator, which will be used to convert heat from disintegrating plutonium-238 into electricity. Isn't that so rad? It will fly to several locations to gather samples of Titan and check the potentiality of human settlement in the future. And with enough data, research, and preparation, we may soon find ourselves living a life away from our home planet. This would be such a great leap for science and will surely leave a greater mark on human history. Did you have fun learning something cool and new? And hey, do you like the idea of living on Titan? I mean, you'd be living on a super cold moon. <laughs> How about this video? If so, don't make us wait till 2036. Hit that like button right here and now, and let us know in the comments below if you'd be cool with living on a cold moon for the rest of your life. Thanks for watching. To infinity and beyond.